Welcome back to the next episode of England. And today we have a lot to do because we are about to take the French. And we started our colonial ambitions, which means, you know, we're going global now. Yeah, I just saw Hungary, which <laughs> is now a PU under Poland, at least for now. They have very high liberty desire. And that is interesting because right before the end of the last episode, the Austrians started the war to PU them, while the Hungarians did PU them. So it was like, what is happening now, right? But now we know um, they will stay under the Hungarians. I don't know why, but apparently they do. Oh, money. I'll take that. Thank you. I don't have the dip points to spare for the other thing. Or the money to spare for the dip points. The Scout the Americas. Oh yeah, please give me give me stuff. So Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Um reconquest, what do we have here? We should actually do that, should we? Call all the allies in to make peak bullying. And Oh, this is under them. Okay, wait. So yeah. Good. Do you have any ambitions? Not too much. You have a lot. So what I should do is maybe not call Burgundy in and hope that Burgundy declares their own war. So they take out land out of the French. So when they actually PU the French, they have to take less from them. You know what I mean? So we'll do that. Sounds very stupid and complicated, but trust me, source, do trust me, it does make sense. Italian wars. Oh yeah, some Italians are apparently now in the war too. Okay, which ones? Oh, the Giannese and the Pope. And also Switzerland. Why Switzerland? Why would you do this? Uh, over here we're looking at... Oh yeah. Good. Siege is going well. I mean, well enough. We broke through in Paris, but that's not too hard. We, a, a, whoa, defeated the French over there. I don't see that often by the AI. Actual progress. Then I'm gonna take this one diplomat back to improve relations with allies, because it is quite nice to have high relations with allies. Emperor about to take a third reform. Ooh. Semi-competent emperor. That's crazy. Good. What do we have over here? Let's go. <laughs> um, yeah, but not too much happening right now. Just a few sieges. Without cannons, I like to do the five-speed thing. You know me. That's fine. Hmm, what do we have over here? Cardinal or prestige? I'll take the cardinal. The buffs are very nice as long as we're Catholic. We found Ivany. Okay, that's good. I know too important because it will be a trade port later on, but uh, not too bad either, right? Uh, you go down here, hopefully you finish this siege. Oh, he already has cannons. Oh yeah, he's a military ahead, right? <laughs> yeah, he's... Mm. Orleans is sieged. Got him. Then, should we take this? Yes or no? You know what? I'm gonna wait. If the Burgundians declare war on them, I will take it. If not, I will not. That's how simple it is. And I will break most of their friendships with other nations. Like... Nah, I don't care about Salusa, but Chinoa, um, the Venetians, the Swiss, you know. That stuff. Three stability or three... Okay. You know what? The billing is the most affordable. I, I don't have points to spare. So. Here. Manufactory. Yeah, build all of this. A little bit of building to have more economy in the long run. It's not too bad. Probably can't support them in time. Oh, we can. Very good. Take that. Lost a lot of men, but we hold the siege and push back the Venetians in a mountain province. That is very good, because it was defensive for them. So, they got a lot of bonuses from that. Wow, that was a huge bonus for... Wow, we're nearly done over here. I would say we go into the Caribbean, and from there we go up here in the north and do the normal stuff. And then we split a bit down and also go down here to try to take the cape as early as possible. Because it's a very good choke point to get stuff through. And if you're in India, we can get a, a place where there's a lot of AE. We could potentially get it without angering anyone in Europe, right? Because it's that far off. It would be actually amazing. Why did they take that? Oh, they claim all of Italy. Oh yeah, Neapolis. Very chill. <laughs> oh, Neap Nepal. Whatever. No. Neapolis. Sorry. <laughs> Nepal. Talking about India. Right to the north. Makes sense. Trust me. 
They're not at war yet. Okay, I think you have to break the alliances. What is happening over here? I look away and I'm being stack wiped. I literally looked away for a second. They had so much, like 40k on me. What was that? I nearly got stack wiped. Ooh. Good thing I have a manpower pool. Why are you angry now? Why are you angry? So, are you happy now? Yes. Oh. So, I'm gonna bully the Swiss out of this. Bam. No more friends with the French. There we go. No, oh, I can't help them because my troops are black flagged. That's stupid. So, good leader for... All of my leaders died again. What is that? So, how the... Fr I, I hate... I hate morals so hard. Oh my god, the French ones... <laughs> they should have been dead so much faster. Uh, oh, oh my god. Reinforce. Imagine having manpower. Cringe. Oh, maybe you should go into leash if you think they can play. You should invite him to play with us if they really want to be there. So you want to have fun? Let's go in. How about it? You want to play? Let's play. They're full. So over there, there should be peace out very soon. And then we only have to deal with the Venetians, which is absolutely fine to deal with. I, I thought I thought they would go into, but if Burgundy is in the Empire, what? What? I guess they asked to join the Empire. Maybe I shouldn't make them strong anymore. But they have such a large coalition against them, and you know what they decide to do after they got such a large coalition? Take more land. That's what they're doing. They just take more land. Maybe I should break the alliance with you. I want you to attack France, not Switzerland. That was not the meaning of this. Man. So, Kurt Howe. This could be very good. Edmund cost decreased. I liked it a lot. Another colonist. Good. The Norwegians are here. Oh my god, that's bad. I'm gonna take that off them. Unironically. I have to, have to declare one of the Norwegians because I really, really don't want to have them here. I have to take this, 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 and that. I don't, besides that, I don't really have somewhere else to go, right? I only can go here and go somewhere here. Yeah, at least can, can place myself on a trade port. Okay. Until this colony down there is finished and we can go somewhere else. Are you finished? Oh, you are you just finished. Oh my god. The timing on that. Uh, can I go nowhere else? I can go over here. I literally can only <laughs> go to Brazil. What is that? Can I go into here? No. When a game wants you to go into Brazil. Okay. I guess we go into Brazil. At least for one province. Welcome. Uh, okay. I guess we visit Brazil. <laughs> Good. We can stay... Yeah, I don't want to stay there for this. I'm just going to turn it into a... What is it? Gala company? Very good. So, you will be pieced out uh, for a lot. No more friends here. Uh, what else? I don't care too much about this. Just, you know, money and all that. The French just losing more and more friends. That's basically the goal here. <clears throat> They're about to take over Liege. I don't know what that means for the future. Not too much. Leash is not too important. But you know, I'm still hoping that the Burgundians will not take too much out of Switzerland. So they will still be able to uh, attack the French. But it could be they just get collision. They took like two provinces, which is a lot in the HRE. No, one province. Okay, that's not too bad. Do you have any claims in France? What? Burgundy. How, how do you want all of this land? Like really desperately and have like no claim there. What is this? Oh my god. They will not attack the French because they have no claim. That is absolutely stupid. 
So, piecing you out. No more French allies. And you will pay me money. You're welcome. Aye, aye, aye. So, back to you. Uh, yep. Cool. Explore all of this. I will go against Denmark after this, as I said. Uh, golden era of Norwegians. Oof. They really want to go here. I mean, I could actually steal this, or all of this, and then this to take over the colony and make it British. Steal their progress. Okay, the Venetians are not too happy. So if I demand that and that, they are out. How about that? And now we've basically won. No one else helping France anymore. It's only, actually, it's still one my ally. I'm sorry. Now, no more allies. <laughs> okay. What do we do? Oh no, the French will be angry. How dare they? Um... It's not too much. Can cut them in two. And then take a lot of money. How about this? It should weaken them a lot, right? And if only this fort left, this fort, and the capital city. And they're cut in two by two nations who don't like them. So they will not, never be able to merge again. So, yeah, I would say... Oh no, I didn't take the mission, did I? Okay, one more war and then we PU them. Ah, that was stupid. I don't wanna alter for because of something like that. Next time I just do the mission at the beginning. So... But, you know, France is not my focus anyways. The PU is just... Nice to have, but nothing I need. My focus is more on the new world, I would say, from now on. Because I wanna expand a lot in India, become very rich that way, and invest my European adventures, you know, like that. Uh... Oh, good. Okay, my... Everything is where it should be. I just saw my navy. My navy just sink. Now you're going into a port. Good. Good, good, good. You wait know, definitely stability, state maintenance until the end of the game. That is very good. And I lose a lot of stuff. The justice of peace. Okay, you know what? It's good. The state maintenance is very nice money-wise. I have so much stuff from this war. I get admin points and I get an uprising in Orleans. Wow, I don't care about the uprising now. I get stuff. That's important. Bam, deleted. Integrate that. Great. Now we should start paying off. I actually want to pay off the loans with the money I got, but th this event was actually really, really good, honestly. So I, I don't mind. Um, doing this. Actually, two siege. Not too bad. Repair the navy for a bit. Manpower recover a little bit. And now we should declare one of them. It, it, it's a joke we have to fight. It's literally a joke. It's Farron Islands, right? Yeah. No, let's do that. Bump. Now we're at war with the Danish. Just like that. And a few HRE members. I'm not too mad. I feel like even the Emperor would help, so why not? Like, th th these nations want nothing of this. This is just for me to not deal with the mainland. It's my merchant navy obliterating his merchant navy. Why do you have transport ships again? No, wait. Where? Oh, someone else bring brought in the transport ships. I was confused. Why do we have transport ships in there again? Why? Why, why am I always capturing transport ships? <laughs> yeah, and I feel like my navy is so strong, I don't need to care about any of these things anymore. I, I, my light ships can just stay out because my light ships are stronger than most European nations' navies. So let's go. That's a good sign for good England, I would say. Navy-wise, if your if your merchant navy is stronger than most European navies, you did a good job. The end. Good. Now explore the coast. I would like to get the Cape very soon, as I said. Um, I wish there would be a way to more directly attack if someone is pirateering you. Like, they actually become hostile and you could attack them. Because it feels like a little bit cheeky that they, they just steal your trade and there's nothing you can do. You can counter pirateer them, but I don't think it damages the ships. I'm not 100% sure. But I do think it does nothing in a big scale to the enemy, right? They're gonna be surprised when they arrive at the colonial holding and take over that. I can tell you that. 
so... Central Cardinal Administration, what was this? This was this, right? Yep. Uh, what, it will be removed or I get unrest and nobles? But I get more autonomy. Sure. It's a global modifier. Strong. So, you get over here now. We have the war goal, which is very important. I'm gonna wait for the attack, otherwise I fall too much behind. I really hope my king, you know, kind of falls over. Maybe in peacetime I can do it with a little bit of prestige and legitimacy. So, they occupied this, but not too important, because if it's like in a constant, oh, in the field of a fort, what is it called, like the... What's it called, the field again, the fort portrays... Power control? Control, something like that. It basically means a lot, like... It, in any of these fields in forts, rebels siege something, they don't press on the effect. This is like the major leash. If you, if you really want to see a good example for that is if you have religious rebels, they tend to convert, you know, tend to convert the province to siege. So if it would get very unrealistically a Sunni uprising up here, and it would win over here, it wouldn't change the religion of this province because of the fort. So that's something good to know if you didn't. You probably did, but now we know again. You're welcome. <laughs> so, Friesland, what are you? What are you doing? Give me your trade. Thank you. More trade for the English. Amazing. Good. Still don't want to do that, but absolutely want to do that. We have more reach now, which means we definitely can reach that here as soon as this finishes. Sure, take that. Yeah, we'll do nothing really in Brazil. This is just a way to jump up here. Yet. It's so stupid. I can never transport ships now, ship now in there. <laughs> Go away. Oh, the Aussies are demolishing the Danish. I don't even have to do anything. I'm just deciding to go into the new wall, do a little bit of damage over there. Exploration finished. Very nice. Explore more. Because it just extended our reach. So, dock in. I hope they just don't send another colonial dude. Golden era. I could start one. I don't see the reason why I should. I feel like we're better off later. Um, once again, the light chips could be very cool. A bit of money, promote mercantilism. Sure. Legitimacy, not legitimacy, influence, uh, professionalism, that does hurt. Uh, I guess army tradition, yeah. Because professionalism is even harder to get up. Okay, I would say that looks very good. What I want from this is these islands and that colony. It's kind of mostly what I want from this. Otherwise, I don't know. Release Norway? No. Makes no sense. Otherwise, maybe money. I would do nothing with direct control of Norway. Let's be real. I mean, it, I could control these trade ports. It would be really scuffed. Hmm. Hmm. But I would get more trade influence. How about we control Northern Norway? How about that? <laughs> so... We get even more trade influence in the Northern Sea, so we can... Everything from Canada is even more under my control. I think this is actually something I should do if I want to have more control over my trade. Is it cursed? Yes, but that's how the game works. Uh, Royal Marriage of Austria has ended. Very sad. Re let's renew it. I do enjoy the Austrians as an ally, just proven by this. So... Could it just take over the colony? Like, this Oh. Yeah, I don't even need to demand it. I just took over it. How about that? Uh. Okay, good, he survived. Because I couldn't afford another air right now. Would be too old. Would be way too old. 
need a new seed for. Okay. How about... Must be a state. Can't because it's still being integrated. Okay, okay. How about you? Okay, no one complains now. Amazing. I'm just, like, exploring the world right now. Very cool. How are the Danish looking? I'm nearly done with all of that. Just need to get my knee over here. Should be done. I think if I get over there and give them access to the ocean, which I'm doing right now by demolishing the navy with my navy. Yes, five speed star. I should have an amazing... Wait, what is this? Oh, what it is. Brazil, I don't want to be there. I guess I just randomly improve relations with that <laughs> weird mission. But I'll do it. So, back to four speed with all of that done. Actually, five speed, they're just sieging that now, are they? Royal Mary the Brazilians. Uh, <laughs> Brazilians. Brazilians. <laughs> Brazil is in my mind. It is too late now. There is no coming back from this. I have Brazil. Good. All of that is fine. Good. How long for you to finish? Very soon done. Great. You a little bit longer. Not too much though. So... Gibraltar is fine. But it got raided right now, okay. Maybe I should build a fort because of that, because I can't get raided if I fort on it. Uh, okay, they should say yes now, and they do. Amazing. Good, I get these three. Actually, I get all of this. Not even counting this anymore. And war reparations. Um, that's, it. that's it. Yeah, that's it. Great! The British expansion continues. For now, it's just the English, but you know. Call it already the British, because we have iron inside. Oh, no. Future vision is, I think, more fitting, right? <laughs> like, iron inside is looking backwards. <laughs> uh, okay. Five head. Okay. But it looks very cool. And now we have a North American colony in the works. I guess we don't need the Caribbean, but it is in the mission tree, isn't it? Settle in America. No, it does. Oh, yeah. Colonialize the Caribbean. Have five. Good. We still try to take five islands. Good. Very soon we're done in Brazil. Okay. That's fine. Next age is very soon starting. Okay, this is all very good. I like how much we expanded in these two episodes, right? Like, all of this influence over here. Then starting to colonialize and kind of really domineering the continent. I mean, we have to wait for France again, but they will not be able to go anywhere anymore. They are hacked box, but they... I mean, the Pope will not... They could expand here, but not really. Not, 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 not really, no. I'm surprised how well the Empire does so far. See, even the Teuton still exists to a certain degree. Interesting reconquest opportunity, I would say. <laughs> Maybe I should PU them. Actually, vassal. I could vassalize them, unironically. <laughs> I could really, really vassalize them. Okay, let's try to finish the mission now. The improved relations. Probably undoable, but maybe I can send them some money. It's gonna be so expensive. I don't know if I wanna finish this mission. Okay. But otherwise, we're just still doing very good. Hey, this is done. Good. Then let's start a colony over here. It's gonna be annoying because we are Catholic and there's this thing with Catholicism. If someone is there first, you get a debuff for them actually having to own it. Because, you know, they're quote unquote the, the ones who should own it and I'm like just here stealing it. The Treaty of Tullis, which was between, in re real history, the Spanish and the Bra uh, Brazilians. Not Brazilians, Portuguese. <laughs> okay, I made a few Portuguese really angry. I meant Portuguese, okay?
But it was about Brazil, okay? It was a line to draw, I think, like here. Where, like, this part of the world belongs to the Spanish and this part of the world belongs to the Portuguese, colonial-wise. Like, mediated by the Pope. Didn't really work out. But it meant temporal peace. So you get over here now. Yeah, I'm so behind on tech. I really, really, really need to... Uh, get a better king. Please. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of him now. I, I don't care anymore. This is getting... This is ridiculous how bad it is. Uh, do this. No, don't make this into a state. Thank you. Oh, defensiveness. Yeah, do that. Gone. Thank you. Do that. Gone. Thank you. <laughs> That's English. Um, all of that is fine. Peace. Hey! Let me help with that. Uh, that's not good. Not really getting admin points here. So... Good, good. I feel like the Pagan inheritance just doesn't happen, or it happens when this Duchess Marie... Yeah, it, it ha should have happened when she came into power, right? And it already played out, I think. And we just missed the opportunity on something. Or actually, we didn't get an opportunity. Something like that. Very sad. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting rid of the Age of Discovery, even though I get amazing bonuses, because the Portuguese have way too buff colonial bonuses right now. They get 150 here, which I really don't like. Um, so we at least have a chance to colonialize against them. So, how big are these provinces now? 10, 8, 6. Not too bad. By the way, stop. I don't know why I started converting this. This was stupid. Because it's a trade company. And it literally doesn't do anything. It just doesn't progress. When did I start that? When, when did I start it? I think way too long ago before I made it a um, trade company. Okay. The French are unruly, so I have to bonk them. Wait, Norwegian separatists too? Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, they probably came from Sweden. Oh, Swedish. So... Off, off to Norway. Yeah, we landed in time. Got him. Oh my god, I'm losing it. I lost it. What the? How did I lose so much money in transport? It was like 8k? What? That was not good. But we defended our land. Good. Maybe you should have worked more with uh, merchants. Not merchants, mercs. The other thing. I always say something. I think, no, no, no. The other thing. <laughs> uh, okay. I get a free ship. I guess. Cool. I think I'm over limit. But, yep. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for that. I, I will hopefully use it. So I'm done with Burgundy now. This is getting annoying. No, no, no. I will not change my claims. This is what I want. Stop complaining about it. You want the same land we want. Yeah, but at least I have claims. You have like one claim now. Wow. Congratulations. Very proud of you. Thank you, Sasa, by the way, for the gifted. I appreciate it. Okay. Economy looks very good. I'm going to pay back some of the loans. You throw the just burger loans. That was in Iceland. Reykjavik. Capital city. Very cool, I know. Wait, what? They will become... Ing... Where is that? Is it over here? They will change to English. And they will immediately come... What? 
Okay, sure. Free colony now. Downside, it's Protestant and I can't change it for quite a while, but, you know, I don't care. We have a colony here now. Wrong religion, but, you know, it's a colony, so I don't care. Uh, actually, they should walk into me. Better defensive bonuses. Oh, I didn't get it. That's sad. Because I had all the modifiers going for me. It spawned in Portugal. Okay. Very sad. Um, hey, first decent king, I would say. Three to five. Actually, a good king. Just not in power yet. Ah, let's go. Yeah, lost a lot of men. But that should be the uprisings for a while. I'm surprised you're still ticking up, because I'm not even converting your religion anymore. I got excommunicated, because Burgundy... Oh my god. You're such... You're such a penis, Burgundy, you know that? How much did the Pope dislike me? Oh, because I violated the Treaty of the... Oh, this is so stupid. I need it for my mission tree, Pope. You don't understand. I have to do this. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make my own religion. I don't need you, Pope. I'm gonna click this now. I don't care about the Pope anymore. I'm gonna make my own religion. will be so much cooler than yours. You will be so envy. Uh, but yeah. I would say with all of this in place, uh, next episode we're gonna go against the French again. Because, you know, it's a yearly tradition in Great Britain that we just walk into uh, the French lands apparently now. Every 10 years or something. Very yearly. And yeah, we will do more into North America next episode to finish up these colonies and try to power over most of Europe. Burgundy, I want to deal with that, but we'll see about that. There is a coalition against them, funnily enough, so I hope that triggers it. would be entertaining. But it's not too big. So yeah, until next time, you have a great one. Bye.